Champion University, D. Shen, what to do if you're a female or a woman that's insecure, shy, or has low self-esteem. <laughs> there might be a lot of different reasons why a lot of you women are insecure. Some of the reasons might be things like you might be a pastor's kid. You was raised up in an environment where you're just shy and you never go out. You might just be a square. You might have had a high school sweetheart for five years strong. And on the sixth year, he decided to get with a, a uglier bra than you, a hippopotamus looking female. self-esteem just plummeted down the drain. You hear what I'm saying? For whatever reason, the case may be, there's always a way. There's always a way to get your confidence back. And my advice to you today, it might be a little far-fetched, but it works. So my advice to you is start working at the strip club or open an OnlyFans page. You make sure you hit me up with the link. I get it for free for giving you this. When you work at a strip club, a lot of guys there, they start worshiping you. They'll literally get on their knees and be like, mm. let me figure out some stripper names for you. Uh, Kira, how about Katana? <laughs> or what about uh, Kitty? These are some stripper names you could use. <laughs> when you start working in these clubs, you'll start to develop your confidence because a lot of these guys in there, it's gonna give you a lot of attention like, here, honey, here's the money. Here's the money. Here, here, make it rain on you. Make it rain on you. You hear what I'm saying? A lot of these dudes will come in there and thinking that you was a goddess. Like you was the hottest female in town that all they want to do is get with you. You're going to get so much attention. All these other dudes in the streets, you're not even worried about them. A lot of the dudes that come to these clubs and whatnot, they're gonna give you a whole lot of attention. Like you the, like you a Christmas present waiting to be unwrapped for years. You hear what I'm saying? Now the type of attention you'll receive is gonna be endless. Matter of fact, you're gonna receive so much attention from these dudes, you, you're gonna start being annoyed of them. You're gonna be like, man, get out my face, get out my face. Out of my face! Girls, out the room! Yeah, Girls, you out the room. Oh, oh, oh. That's the power of you working at a club because when men start giving you attention, and it's not just one person, it's gonna be a lot of dudes, nonstop, every day, habitual, attention, attention here, baby here, baby that, please, you're so sexy, you're so beautiful, you're the princess, you're the best, you're the number one, you're so lovely, you're a flower, all types of shit. And your self-esteem is gonna skyrocket. <sighs> Way up there. Now, as you develop this confidence, the muscle memory is going to be instilled in your, in your mind. You're going to automatically start absorbing this like it ain't shit. And after that, it's history. Your confidence is going to be up the roof, off the charts. Now, you might be thinking to, you might be telling me, hey, but I'm fat. I weigh, I weigh 200 pounds. It don't matter, man. I've seen the fattest females work at these clubs and I'd be confused because they be making more money than the skinnier girls. Like the skinnier ones, the model type looking ones. The bigger ones, y'all fat girls is making that money. I've seen it too. Fat girls taking dudes into the back getting dances one after the other. I'm like, damn, that hippopotamus is making moves. <laughs> I'm playing with you. You're not a hippo. but Because at the end of the day, they say the beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Or beauty is what they perceive it to be. Like, for example, this dude right here might like somebody that's 200 pounds with big chi-chis, you know what I'm saying? So whatever the case may be, try it out. It don't matter if you're fat or, or ugly or you got vampire teeth, man. There's there's a girl for every guy out there and a guy for every girl. Trust me, I've seen it myself. I've seen a dude with no arms and no legs, and he like he's a public speaker, and he got a very beautiful girl, and they have a kid and everything. So like I said, don't let that discourage you into not wanting to dance at the club, okay? Another thing you guys can do is if you got low self-esteem is open an OnlyFans page. 
And you don't even gotta work at the club. You can do this at the comfort of your own home. Start putting up th two to three bikini photos or naked photos, whatever you, whatever you wanna do to get the attention. And you'll see a difference. You're gonna have these dudes hit you up nonstop, wanting to be your boyfriend, wanting to throw you money. Wanting to cash app you, wanting to take you out, wanting to hold your hand, suck your toes, wanting to be everything that you ever couldn't imagine. So ultimately, in order for you to boost your confidence, my advice to you is to start working at a club. Look for a local strip club, start dancing there, start working, meet some girls, have some new girlfriends and stuff. And the way you alter your mind, the, the amount of attention you give will alter the way you think. And habitually, you will start to develop confidence automatically. That's my promise to you. Now, before we leave, let's think of some stripper names. I'm going to help you with some stripper names. We got Cerise, Misty, Cherish, Stormy, Epiphany. <laughs> when I'm about to like reach an epiphany, over here from somewhere, oh, Ching Chong Ling Long Ting Tong. Lotus. <laughs> Cheyenne, Fawn, Genesis, Tierra, Cecilia, Aurora, Skyla, Arabella, Fiona, Charlotte, <laughs> Charlotte's Web, huh? Ella, Evelyn, Sadie. Man, it don't matter. Just, just look, just Google it. You'll be alright. If my videos are helpful, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And holla at me later. I got you. Pippi University. D-Shin. We out.